I've explored the process of making bent wood parts out of thin laminations in previous videos. By clamping the laminations between a pair of forms or by clamping them around a single form. Using a vacuum press to clamp your parts is a third and often better option that you should look into. The stock preparation is no different than when you're using clamps. Thin strips are still re-sawn from thicker material, either on the table saw or on the bandsaw, depending on how wide your pieces need to be and what you have available in your shop. And the laminations are still stacked up the same way, with a layer of glue between each lamination. I use painter's tape or stretch wrap to keep the parts from moving on the form as I put them in the bag. And on deep draws, I may use a flexible call on top to keep the bag clear of the bending area. The bag is then sealed and the air removed from inside. The Roar Rocket kit that I'm using here has a hand pump. It's slow, but effective. More expensive systems often use an air or electric pump to evacuate the bag. But by whatever means, as air is removed from the bag, the ambient air pressure around you starts to force the parts down onto the form. Ambient air pressure is considered to be 14.7 pounds per square inch nominally, depending on your location and the weather conditions. So with atmospheric pressure of around 14 pounds per square inch, even on this small part, I'm getting 120 pounds or more of pressure forcing it into place. And just as importantly, the pressure is completely even and spread across the entire part and not just focused where the clamps are. After allowing sufficient drying time, the parts are removed from the bag. Like any form of wood forming, a certain amount of overbend has to be built into your form to allow for the spring back that inevitably comes when you release the part. Using more, thinner laminations not only means less spring back, but also means it's easier to form the parts, especially in a deep draw like this one. A vacuum press system will allow you to create a wide range of formed parts, but it's also highly useful when you're laminating flat stock as well. Because the pressure is evenly spread across the entire part, you get excellent glue-ups with no voids or gaps in between the layers. And for smaller parts, I've even had good results using a vacuum freezer bag system bought at the grocery store for my kitchen. So while they can be a bit pricey to get into, and they do have a bit of a learning curve, a vacuum press system is a great way to create formed wooden parts from laminations. Mm -hmm.